the fact that it's, it's shaped like a ship and that the, the, the flooring is, uh, is designed like a, a ship's deck uh, is really, really deep. It's really impactful. And, and again, it reminds me of, this, of, of the journey um, that, that was started and the journey that's continuing. And hopefully we can get back to, to where all this started and understand that, that journey. Like the entrance here at the African Burial Ground, it was just like, it was kind of like the same thing. And once you enter, you, you see how, how tiny the space is. The entrance, it, entrance is like um, exiting Africa. Just kind of like walking into, into this place, it just kind of like reminded us how everybody was just like walking into the boat. Emotions is just like, I was shocked, I was surprised. I, was, I didn't know that there was, um, they had Africans who were buried here in New York City. Visiting here, it changed my mind. It was just like, wow, like, even New York was a part of this, and New York being like one of the biggest states, it was just crazy. The independence of this country from Great Britain, their cookouts and their parades, etc. But slavery continued to exist. So in protest here in New York City, the African Americans, they celebrated on July 5th. I think everybody in New York should be coming here. Everybody, African Americans, um, Africans, um, you know, white, black, any color should be here just to like get the history behind it. In the 1650 census, New York had a population of just 500 people and we spoke 20 languages. And to me, this idea of knowing that our past is a lot like our present enables us to build a better future. Give them the right way to be buried and to be a place where we could come and get a little bit more history about African Americans or Africans, you know, is, is wonderful.